guys, it's Rachel. So today I am just going to be vlogging for you guys. I am actually about to go get my hair done. My roots are just not it right now. Last week I got my hair cut, so I'm not getting it cut any, but the color, yes, I am getting done. I hope to be blonder by the next time you guys see me. I just, cause I still have like, it's really dark underneath. I do full foil highlights. I think that's what they call it. And so yeah, um, especially just my roots need to be touched up, but I just grabbed some Dunkin' and I'm gonna sit here and eat real quick because it usually takes about two hours for them to do my hair. Um, and I want a snack. And I just looked in there, like when I pulled up, nobody's in there. I love it. Oh, that coffee's so good. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into my hash browns. And then I'm gonna walk inside and we're gonna get started. I'll try and vlog in there if I can. Um, no promises though. Oh, it's a beautiful day out. Oh, <laughs> I'm back. It's sleeting. <laughs> it's literally sleeting. I am so happy I brought a hoodie. Let me show you guys my hair. You hear that? I'm sorry, I had to put a necklace up here because I didn't want it to get tangled because <gasps> I'm the queen of that. But here's my hair. It looks so much better. The roots look better. Oh yes. She parted it to the side and that's honestly fine. Um, Good thing I didn't put on foundation today. Oh, she looks good. She looks a lot better. She feels fresh. I'm freezing. All right. Oh, I like sprinted to the car. Oh, all right, you guys. I'm so glad I had a hoodie. Like, I'm so glad I grabbed one. Um, I knew the weather was going to be bad today. So I was like, my next stop is actually the mall because I have to return a palette. I have not used it. I haven't even opened it. Um, but I can see like the colors on the back. If you guys watched my Grammy video, I was trying to find a dupe to the Olivia Jade palette. And um, because of COVID, they like, I'm sorry, my freezing. So if I'm like talking weird, that's why. Um, because of COVID, they can't like let you sample them. So like she was watching them and they have to hand you the palette. So she accidentally handed me the wrong one. It's fine, like it's no big deal. Um, I think I'm gonna look in Forever 21 while I'm there and Altered State. Altered State is so expensive, but like I love walking around it regardless. Um, won't buy anything from there, but like I want to look. But um, yeah, then as soon as I get done at the mall, I'm going to probably grab lunch and come home and decorate my room for Easter. So I know you guys love to see that. So that's a plan in this video and yeah, I need a sip of this. All right, you guys, so I decided to take a little detour and come see if I can find some Squishmallows. I've never checked in this Walgreens and there's a Kroger like over there. And so I'm like, hmm, it's on my way. So I never really come this way though. So we, we came this way today. So let's go check Walgreens first. No Squishmallows in sight. Guys, <laughs> oh no, that hurt. Um, so I was like running to the car and I shut my door really quick because it's nasty out. My hair was caught in the door and it went like, that was miserable. Okay, you guys, it is ever so faintly snowing and I didn't realize it until I just got out of the car. So, um. It's got my past frozen behind glass, but I've got me. Oh, that moment again, he's insisting that friends look at each other like that. You know what, Taylor Swift? That one hit. That one. That one hit. But anyways. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in Forever 21. And I have to walk through there anyways. And then I'm going to go return this at Sephora. Actually, not return. Exchange. Um, and then I am going to Altered State. I want to look in there. I'm not buying anything in there. But, you know. Um, it's fun to look. I might grab some lunch. We'll see. We'll see. But first, mask. Next up, running into the building. 
This top is so cute. They have it in different colors, but I like the white. She's cute. Oh my god. I love it. I'm in altered state and I love this dress. Alright you guys, so it is no longer raining, which <laughs> I am so happy for. So my run back to the car wasn't too bad. It's still, it literally started sprinkling as soon as I said that. Um, but I just got back in the car and um, I got some Charlie's for lunch. Have you guys ever had Charlie's? Because I almost got Chick-fil-A, but then I was like, I want a lemonade. They have peach, blueberry, and strawberry. It's so good. And then I got a veggie sub. But um, I did want to mention something and I did want to put it out there because I don't know. I just found myself, I'm vlogging today and I found myself feeling this way. So are you ever in a situation where you don't want to go into a certain place because it brings back memories of a person? Well, that place is cotton on for me. Like in the mall, there's Forever 21, Altered State and Sephora. So it's like all pretty close. And then um, Cotton On is like where you would go to the food court. And I passed Cotton On and I found some okay stuff in there before and some things I really like, but I can't, I just get really upset every time that I go in there. And um, that's because it used to be a staple place for someone and I to go. And that person is no longer in my life and as I'm okay with that now it still bugs me because like there was just so much like connection to that store I so I guess it stems from us not only going in the store a lot but around Christmas time when this downfall happened I had already bought some Christmas presents for this person and I bought this Christmas present from cotton on so I went and cotton on that was the hardest actually it was the day that evermore came out I walked into cotton on to do that um, I was hoping to get a refund but because it, um, it it was so far out from when I had bought it like the refund period or the exchange period was out um, they couldn't give me my money back and you know what I more than understand that it's not that it was just like I wanted that shirt out of my sight out of mind so I remember I came and I put it in the back here I have like a storage bin in my back seat in case I'm ever like near Plato's closet and um so if you guys ever see like a bin in my back seat of clothes that's what that is so um yeah but I remember I was just like I just wanted that shirt out of my sight and I even told the lady in there I was like this this friendship just ended like I just I want it like out of my sight and she's like oh my gosh girl I totally understand she's like I'm so sorry so we kind of like bonded a little bit she was really really sweet about it but luckily sold it to Plato's closet um, it's gone now so I'm really glad but sometimes just when I walk past cotton on or I see cotton on it just connects me with those feelings and I just I don't like it because it's a feeling of being let down and it's a feeling of being um, the wool being pulled over my eyes pretty much and um, I just feel very um, what's the word I'm looking for here I know I'm like just word vomiting to the camera but I kind of needed to because it kind of just brought me down um, but I want to show you guys my life and I want to let you guys know my life and yeah I I am happy I have learned more about myself since the situation ended and I realized how toxic it was how badly I needed to get out of it back in October if you go back to my my birthday vlog like my week leading up to my birthday I think it's called like my last week of being 20 that person made me not want my 20th birthday 21st birthday like I didn't want to celebrate it I didn't want anything to do with it like I just wanted to sit and cry um and I should have realized right then that there was something wrong with that relationship but I I kept trying and I kept trying and it ended it ended in December and I am feeling much better like a weight is lifted off of me because of it but like 
you know how it is guys like things sometimes just bother you I don't know if I'm going to even put this in but um, when you feel like you've just been faked for such a long time and you don't know what was genuine and you don't know what was real it really like bothers you and when you see something that uh, reminds you of it it kind of just gets to you but it's okay I just needed to vent to you guys you guys are my family and I love you guys so much you guys have seen so much of my life and I am so grateful for your support and um, yeah you guys mean so much to me I know I can lean on you guys and just know like I love watching Colleen Ballinger because she is real if she's having a moment where she's not feeling herself she says it she doesn't keep going and I'm vlogging today and it just it kind of bothered me so I wanted to show you guys and real life is good to see sometimes because you feel less alone and um, that's one reason I love Colleen so much but yeah um, you never know what's going on behind the scenes so it, it's just crazy to me you know how life is but through it all I know I have you guys so I love you guys more than I could ever say so with that being said I'm gonna go home I'm going to eat my lunch and then I am going to decorate my room for Easter which guys I'm so excited to do because I love decorating for holidays I can't believe Easter is so soon so that is what I'm going to be doing oh my gosh you guys you won't believe what I've been doing the last time I talked to you I literally took a nap like I came home ate my sub and I took a nap it is let's see what time it is it is 403 and look how pretty Taylor Swift is we love her anyways um I'm gonna start decorating I'm gonna see how much I can get done before my mom gets off work um we are going to go grocery shopping tonight so I don't know how much I'm gonna get done before but definitely I will have it done by the end of this vlog. Um, Jasmine's still snoozing. She's so precious. <laughs> the leprechaun said, St. Patrick's Day is over. I'm facing the door now. Dang, he really said, I'm done. He said, he said it's the Easter Bunny's time to take over. <laughs> My job's out now. <laughs> He's, I don't know why that just made me laugh. It's the little things. It really is. Okay. Guys. You know what's weird? I think I pointed this out a couple videos ago. I think it was my last, like, vlog. What video was it? I don't remember. But I talked about how I took a nap and there was, like, a divot in my hair afterwards. It did it again. <laughs> what in the world? Like, does this happen to you guys? Like, I'm actually curious. Like, is that a thing? Like, you wake up with, like, a dent in your hair? I don't know. I just wanted to mention it because I was like, what in the world? Um... Pulling everything out now. I will show you guys when I have everything like out. All right, here's our first move. He's so cute. <laughs> this leprechaun's so cute. Okay, next up though, we've got Happy Easter. And to add to that, I've got these pastel bells I actually got them from Dollar Tree last year I did see them again this year if anyone's interested I put them on the door because Jasmine at night she likes to like get out and if she rings these bells and she knows to if I have them up she will wake me up so I like having that up but it's covering the chick's face I might put them in back because still if she like hits the chick it'll it'll wake me up this is what it's really like decorating with me. I'm like, wait. Okay, yeah, because if she goes, I can still hear that. <laughs> what are you just standing there for? Weird. Okay. All right, these little shamrocks are going to have to stay up for the time being because I think my Easter string lights last year broke. Like, when I pulled them off, I think I remember them like, what happened to them? Maybe they didn't, but if I recall, well, they would have been with my Easter stuff. Again, this is what it's like decorating with me, but I think that um, they, like, broke or something. 
But uh, yeah, we're gonna leave the shamrocks up for now, but we are going to put a little happy Easter sign. My mom got me this last year. It's so cute. And I just retrieved my Squishmallow from the floor. <laughs> All right, two things about this. It's some garland. I thought, actually my mom told me, but I still picked it up. Um, when I picked this up at Dollar Tree, I thought it was for your door. And it still could be, you know. We could have some eggs hanging. Um, but I am going to use it as garland, like like the little tag says. Um, so, I, if I can't find my string lights from last year and they did, in fact, um, break, I am going to put this up along my windowsill. I'm going to leave the shamrocks up because honestly I love the shamrocks and I'm going to put up the little pink diamonds that I had for Valentine's Day and it'll look like pastel and Easter eggs. So, you know, improvising. Okay, this is what we have working with. You know, it's not the best, but it's still looking festive. I honestly love these shamrocks. They're so cute. Okay, and then I put the little pink jewels up so it kind of like intertwines and then I'm going to put these up too. So, let's do that. All right, yeah, um, scratch my idea. It just, it was not working. The eggs made it look too, like, bulky down here. It just wasn't cutting it. So, I think I'm going to put them around my picture with Taylor because, you know, why not? Wait a minute. That's actually adorable? What? Wait, that's so cute. Fuzzy! I'm not sure she's impressed, but I think it's cute. Guys, I literally just got these out, cut the tags off, and my cat is like circling me. No, no ma'am, mm-mm. We went grocery shopping and look who I found in Kroger. Oh my gosh, I have the chick, but I like the bigger size um, because I love weighing my head on Squishmallows, like they're so comfortable and I do it with my eight inch one. So now I'm so excited that I have a bigger one. And yeah, I love it so much. I think it's so cute. Um, I don't know if you guys would want, but I would be down to do like a Squishmallow collection video because I have, I think, I think this is my 14th. And not that long ago, I was like, I don't get the hype. But then I was like, I get the hype, and now I will drive to a Kroger or a Hallmark just to see if they have them. Anyways, um, yeah, so there's that. But let me know if you guys ever want to see my collection. I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in, and I don't want to film it. And then you guys be like, I don't want this. <laughs> so I always like running video ideas by you. But I am planning to do a certain video with my Squishmallows, so... It's not a collection, but it does involve them. So yeah, that'll be super fun. I'm gonna get in the shower and then I'm going to continue to decorate my room. And uh, I just feel like getting comfortable. So that's what I'm gonna do now. <sighs> Hello you guys, it is actually Sunday now. Yeah, um, yesterday my mom and I were just, you know, we were getting groceries and preparing for the next week and doing all the, you know, the weekend catch-up errand stuff. And um, <laughs> so I have not put up the rest of my Easter decorations and then I came home and I did an assignment. So I really didn't feel like boring you guys with that. So I'm going to finish putting up my Easter decorations right now. And yeah, I am super excited. Also, my hair I didn't realize how much blonder it looks, but like, she is really blonde, and I love it. I love being blonde, and um, I think that she did an amazing job, and it felt so good to get my hair refreshed, and so, yeah. So anyways, um, what am, what was I going to say? Oh, yesterday, while my mom and I were out, I can't make this up. We walked into a Kroger, and there were like three big bins of Squishmallows, and then there was like a stand of Squishmallows. <sighs> so I found some new ones, and I counted them last night, and I was like, oh my gosh. So, 
again I want to ask you guys would you guys like to see a collection because I feel like at this point I would like to do a collection for you guys but I don't know if you guys want to see that um, again I also have another video planned involving them so yeah just wanted to put that out there I was like oh my gosh <laughs> but um, it was so much fun it's so much fun finding them this chocolate stout cold brew guys if you have a Duncan near you they say America runs on Duncan but Rachel runs on chocolate stout cold brew do you see how many times I've picked it up anyways I'm gonna start decorating and I'm gonna show you guys what I do um I have a feeling the Easter Bunny may have uh, nibbled on this egg a little bit because that's funny I don't know um, I make myself laugh on a daily basis, and you know what? I think it's a good thing. Well, those are going back in my drawer. All of these are gel clings at Christmas and Halloween. Let's see what else we got in here. Um, oh, that's a chick. It's for spring, but it's, like, faded. Um, I have autumn ones. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. I did just pull these out though because I have extra spring ones from last year and I'm going to put these up as well. Look who got comfortable. Alright, so I have my Easter ones up. I am so excited about them. I put a lot up. I love these little flowers. They're so cute. Um, so yeah, that's my little Easter gel clings. I love her so much. What did the world do to deserve cats? Guys, so my mom gave me a little pre-Easter goodie bag. And she put these Pocky with almonds on them in that. And it's so good. I'm actually obsessed. Okay, so I have decided that I am going to find some new things to donate. I have a couple snacks in my room. I know that's probably bad, but like, um, anyways, so I'm going to organize those. And uh, I was going through that area and I found this. Don't you just love when you find things that uh, you're going to donate now? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So... I was going through um, my nightstand, which I never really go through my nightstand because, like, I know what's in there, but I wanted to reorganize it a little bit, and I came across a journal. I guess I haven't opened it since, like, 2015, and I did forget that was in there, and I read this, and oh my gosh, I have just got to read this to you guys. So I wrote this on January 1st, 2015. I said, hi journal, I decided to pick you back up after a long break. I don't know why I stopped, but it was the one and only Taylor Swift that made me realize just how important writing is. So for today, I'm just going to say it's 2015 and I can't wait to see what in fact this year has planned for me. Will I finally meet my idol Taylor Swift? I don't know, but hopefully my hard work will pay off. I'm seeing her live in DC and Glendale, Arizona this year. So maybe I have a chance. I can't stop, won't stop trying. In 2014, Taylor discovered me, but in 2015, I want to hug her and meet her. Please 2015, well, I'm hoping with everything I am. Rachel. That, that really just made me emotional. Um, guys, go after your dreams because Eight months after that, I met Taylor, and I met her in Glendale, and I got to tell her thank you in person. And um, I forgot that I had written that in there. If you hear that, my dad's watching a movie, so sorry about that. Um, but I that just made me so emotional. Please never give up on your dreams. I kind of wanted to share that with you guys because like you can do whatever you want to do, and you can accomplish those goals of yours. And I'm just. I still can't believe that happened to me. I really can't. Um, this is when I was going to the Red Tour. 322.13. Hey, 
I'm on my way to South Carolina to visit my grandma and grandpa and to see Taylor Swift's Red Tour. Hmm. Entry two. Hey, we are midway through our journey. We are in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Ha ha. We have seen a truck that said Taylor, which we just passed, and then earlier a Swift one. They know the number one Swifty is on the way. <laughs> Tomorrow is the day. Entry three. What up? <laughs> We are never ever going to get there. That's what I feel like. LOL. I'm just excited. I am the travel supervisor, as, Shel as Sheldon would say. I couldn't even read my own handwriting. Let me explain that real quick. Um, My dad and I always watched Big Bang Theory together, and so I guess that was like an inside joke at that point. Um, Right now, we are on I-20, headed <laughs> West towards Irmo, which is right next to Columbia. LOL. Well, bye. Is that really how I just, I just said, okay, well, that's it. I remember when 1989 came out. I remember thinking to myself, this is my era. I'm going to do whatever I can to meet Taylor. And Taylor was the one who ended up finding me. And I just, it just blows my mind that that happened to me. And so, yeah. Anyways, guys, I am going to let you guys go. But, um, yeah, I will show you my <laughs> Easter decorations in a minute. All right, so up here, I have some Easter egg gels. I have some little tulip gels. Spring is here, little butterflies. And down here, I have a rabbit. Moving on to my door, I have my little Easter chick and the bells. Like I told you, Jasmine knows to ring them when she needs out, so that's why I have that there. So at the foot of my bed, I have this cute stool that I got from Hobby Lobby, and this is a rabbit that I actually got at TJ Maxx. And this globe is from Hobby Lobby. I thought it was just really cute like this, and I love the rabbit for spring. Then I have my PJs in here and then this lilac colored blanket. And then on the other side, I have this little rabbit with this little teal stand that I got from Five Below. This little stand was $5 and it will be so cute even when it's not Easter anymore. But I got that rabbit from Michael. Over here on top of my record player, I have these cute little rabbits and I filled this little carton with colored pastel sparkly eggs. They're beautiful. I love them. I got them last year and I got this little container last year as well. This container was a dollar from Target and I honestly don't remember where the eggs are from. Um, but these two rabbits, this one and this one, they are from Hobby Lobby and I got them this year. But they just sit like this and I think they're super cute. But this is the window I had to improvise on a little bit. Um, this is the window closest to my bed, but I did not have any Easter string lights. I looked. They did break last year, um, but I used my little Valentine's Day jewel ones, and then I strung my shamrock ones. I left them up, and now that I look at them, they kind of, if you look at them in a unique way, it looks kind of like a flower, like especially the ones that line up. Anyways, so I think they're super cute, and they still look springy. Then I have this little sign that says Happy Easter. My mom gave it to me last Easter. And then I have this little stand. I got it from Home Goods this year. And then this is from Michaels. It says Cottontail Farms, locally grown. If you walk in, look who has decorations this year. It's me and Miss Taylor Swift. This is the garland that I got from Dollar Tree, but I didn't know what to do with it. And I was like, hmm, it won't fit like on a windowsill. I'll just drape it over the best picture that's ever been taken. Last but not least, we have my nightstand. So I got this little cup from my mom and she, it's so cute. Look, it has like a little rabbit on it. It has polka dots on it. And I was like, hmm, what's something creative I can do because I want to display it. I put these little flowers in it from Hobby Lobby. I actually had those out at Valentine's Day. It just looks like this. So I just set them in the cup. And then this little candy dish is actually from Hobby Lobby as well. I just put some nerds ropes in there. And yes, there's a couple pins in there because I do sit in my bed and do homework sometimes. So it's just easy for me to like grab a pin, you know. Um, and then this little duck. Yeah. Um, 
I still can't believe that happened. My candle from Taylor, but that's not Easter. My Polaroids of Taylor and I. And then this little rabbit, which I think is absolutely adorable at the end. Stay hydrated, friends. If you're watching this, take a sip of water. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I really enjoyed showing you guys what I did to my room and all. Um, eventually, I will do a room tour. Maybe when it's not like a holiday or anything so you guys can see what it looks like when I don't have it decorated. But yeah, I will definitely do that soon because I know you guys have been wanting to see it and I want to do it for you guys. So don't worry. I promise when I get everything the way I want it. I know I say that, but like, oh my gosh, I forgot to show you guys this. I'm like looking, looking up and I forgot to show you. Here's my little duck. Here's a little Easter egg dish and it has little like chicks in it and then this fuzzy chick I had to put this up here because my cat would eat it and she doesn't jump up here so those are the last of my decorations but yeah um, I just change my room around a lot and I just find new ways to like decorate it and I find new ways to like organize and all like for example that's a mask right here it's on a hook um, so yeah if you guys want me to do a room tour eventually let me know also, let me know if you want a Squishmallow collection. I would love to do that for you guys because at this point, I have a collection. So, um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope it entertained you in some way, and I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, you, in the next one. Bye, guys.